I feel like the whole issue of um, poverty under resourced communities, for me, that journey started at TSU when I was a um, junior and I started volunteering through Big Brothers Big Sisters in Nashville. And for me, it was like, it was a 15 year journey almost, probably 12 year, 12 year journey where just discovering what's, what are the solutions to really solving the under-resourced community neighborhoods, like what they look like, how do we begin to change and transform them. And so one of the things that um, my journey, it just went through, oh, I should be a teacher, I should be this, I should be like, um, maybe I should go work for a nonprofit. But then I was like, my hands are still constrained. And so um, just God just led me on a journey to um, getting connected to like a ministry that actually focuses on under-resourced communities. And I start discovering um, ministries that are in these under-resourced communities that are trying to bring transformation, not from an outward perspective, because I think a lot of times with like, with gospel center nonprofits and some, um, you know, I guess non gospel center nonprofits, I think the fix is always from the outside. And so far that hasn't worked. And so for me, being able to discover the helping without hurting course at the legacy conference in Chicago one year, really like it really confirmed some things that I was already thinking and implementing. And that's really how shed like properties was birthed. It was just, you know, I asked God to give me a vision without borders and, this is the thing that really touched my heart because I always want to get to the source of what what's hurting people, what's preventing them from being all that they can be. Because when we know like this big and awesome God, there's nothing that he withholds from us. So that's how um, this came to be.